Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mackenzie, a third grade teacher in California. And in today's video, I am doing a full tutorial on one of my favorite digital tools, and that is Google Keep. So I know as teachers, our to-do lists are just never ending. And so I really wanted to share a tool with you that I use to stay more organized and has helped me just keep track of everything. So Google Keep is part of the Google Suite apps, and it's a great way to take notes, make checklists, set reminders. And so in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of how to use keep and show you how you can customize keep with your own headers now before we get started if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you do enjoy this type of content please give it a thumbs up so it can reach even more teachers now let's go ahead and jump right into it Okay, so let's go ahead and make some notes. So to get started, there are a couple ways to open the Keep app. You can either select it from the app launcher menu right up here, or if you wanna start a new note right away, you can simply type notes.new into your address bar and it will take you to a new note. So right here, this is your main Google Keep homepage where all of your notes are going to be kept. So as you can see, you can start taking a note right away. So for instance, if I was taking a few notes, maybe at a meeting that I wanna remember, then I can just place the title right up here and then make the notes below. Now, right over here, you can also decide if you want your note to be a list with checkboxes, a note with a drawing, or a note with an image. Now, personally, one of my favorite features of Google Keep is making checklists. And so we're going to start with how to make a checklist. So I'm going to click new list, then I will add a title. Let's just call this one to do and then make the to do list. You can rearrange the items if you need to by holding down each list item and moving it to where you want. As you finish items on your to-do list, then you can just check it off and then it's going to bring that item to the bottom and it will be crossed out. You can also uncheck items if you need to. And if you wanna maybe reuse the entire list, then you can click these three little dots here and select uncheck all items. So this could be really helpful for recurring checklists. For example, if you have a weekly Monday routine where you always need to get the same things done, then each week you could just reset that checklist. Or maybe you have a list of all the items that you always need to get done when preparing for a substitute. You can also add a drawing to any of your notes by clicking the three dots and clicking add drawing. Or up at the top when starting a new note, you can click the paintbrush to make a new note with a drawing. It then will open up this drawing board with lots of different drawing tools. You can change the color, the type and size of pen, and the type of background on the note. So I can see this being useful if you are someone who prefers to handwrite your notes and you have an iPad or tablet and you're using your stylus to write those notes. Then when you're done, you're going to close out your drawing and you'll see the drawing on your homepage. To add a note with an image, you can either add an image to any of your notes that already exist, or if you click the image icon up at the top, you can insert an image to start a new note. So adding images is also how you can add in your customized keep headers, which I'm going to show you how to do later on in this video. For both drawings and images, if you click the three dots menu, you can select grab image text and that would convert any drawn text or maybe handwritten notes or text from an image from your note into typed notes that you can then edit. So those are the three main types of notes that you can make when you open up Keep. And on each note, there's also a little menu of options. So by clicking this little bell icon, you can set reminders. So say you wanna make a note to yourself that you have a team meeting at three o'clock on Wednesday. You can set the date, the time, location, and select if you need it to be repeated, maybe if it's a weekly meeting that you have. You can then have notifications for keep on if you want to be notified or if you just want to see a list of your reminders then you can click the bell icon over on the left side and then it will show you all your keep notes that have reminders. You are also able to share your keep notes by adding collaborators. So if you click the person icon you can add one or more people to your note by adding in their email then any shared notes would be seen from all of those collaborators. I could see this being really helpful if you have a shared project or activity that you're working on with your grade level. So for example maybe your grade level is going on a field trip and there's a list of things that you need to prep for in preparation for that field trip. Then you can just make the list add in all of your colleagues and then that's going to show up on all of your separate devices. Then as you complete each of those items on the checklist, you're going to check them off and all of your colleagues will also see the items that have been checked off. This next icon is to change the color and theme of your notes. So there's lots of different fun options here. 
This can be helpful to organize your notes, maybe having a different color for different subjects or one color for all of your notes that have to do with school and work and one color for notes of things outside of school, like your to-do list outside the classroom or maybe a grocery list. You can also rearrange your notes by holding down and moving them around, which helps with organization. You can also pin notes by clicking this little thumbtack. So any pin notes will automatically go to the beginning of your notes on your homepage. You can also view your notes as a grid view, which is what you see here. Here, or go up to the top and change to list view which shows your notes in one long feed. So personally I prefer the grid view so I'm just going to switch that back here. Here you have the add image button so you can add an image to your notes like I showed earlier and then right here is the archive button. When you click archive your notes going to no longer be shown on the main home page of all of your notes. If you want to access it and bring it back you can click the archive button on the left here and it will show all of your archive notes. This could be useful if you have checklists that are really only for certain parts of the year. So for example, maybe you have a list of to-do items to get ready for back to school season, or maybe you have a list of activities for open house in the spring. Well, you don't need those checklists up all year. You really only need them for that specific season. So instead you can archive those notes and that also just helps with decluttering your homepage and then bring them back out when it's that time of year. If you click on the three dots menu, you have some additional options. That is how you delete a note, which will remove the note completely. You can also add labels to your notes. This works similarly to hashtags where you are giving a tag to each of your notes to help with organizing. So say you're using keep for both lists and notes about work and for lists and notes about your life outside of work. So we're just going to call that category life. You can tag each note with school or life and then you can go over to the left here and you're going to see all of your labels. Then you can easily switch between all your notes for school or all of your notes categorized under life. So that makes it really easy to jump between different categories so that when you are working at school, you can just easily click those labels and you're going to see all of your notes that have to do with school. And then when you're at home and you're working on your other to-do list, then you can just click the life category and it's going to jump to all of your things outside of the classroom. Then there is add a drawing, which we went over already to add a drawing to your note. You can also make a copy of your note, hide the check boxes in your list, and then this last one here is copy to Google Docs. This will automatically copy your note to a new Google Doc. So if I have my to-do list here and click copy to Google Docs, it's going to automatically open up a new document with the text now in Docs form. So you can really do this with any images, drawings, and notes that you have. They're just going to open up a new Google document. Google Keep now connects with all the other apps in Google Suite, which is a really useful feature because no matter what app you're in, you can still access your notes. So whenever you open up Docs, Slides, Sheets, even Google Drive, you're going to notice this little Keep icon over on the right here, and you can open it up and see any notes that you may need while working in each of these apps. So one way that this can be helpful is if you wanna copy the link to one of the documents you're working on, you can grab the link and copy it into your Google Keep notes. Then when you open up Keep, you can easily find that document or slide deck as part of a to-do list maybe, or something you just wanna access more quickly. So to take it a step further, you can also get the Google Keep Chrome extension and I do mention this in my must-have Chrome extensions for teachers, so if you need more ideas, be sure to check that video out. But this extension makes it really easy to save links and take notes on any website. So if you are on a web page and you want to grab some of that information, you can save the link by clicking on the Chrome extension for Keep. Add a label, it also allows you to leave any notes or highlight directly from the web page, and then it's going to put it directly into the note. So now you're going to have all that information in Keep from that website. And then when you have Keep open, you can even use that copy to Google Doc feature if you wanted to have those notes then transferred to a Google Doc. I really like using this feature because I don't have to keep going back and forth between the document with my notes and the website that I'm on. Instead, I can just be on that website and then I have my notepad that's ready to use on the same page. So now that you know all the ins and outs of Google Keep, I wanna show you how you can customize your own Keep headers so that they fit your style and they help with organizing all of your notes. So this is what my Keep looks like with headers and they actually are just images that I've inserted into each of my notes. I then archive any notes that I don't need at the time but know they are ready to go when I do need them. So I made these headers using Google Slides, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make your own. So you're going to want to first open up Google Slides, so create a new Google Slide and change the dimensions of the page layout to 6 by 3 inches. Then you're going to add text in any images you want. So for mine, I inserted Word Art and I used the font Titan 1. 
because I like that really big bold font look. And then I filled the color in as white with a black border. Then I used a different color for the background of each note. So I have my color palette up here on the first side of the colors I wanted to use. I really like those blues and greens. Now I did show this in my Google Sheets video in a little more detail on how to create your own color palette. I do prefer creating color palettes when designing my slides because then it's really easy to add in all the colors I want. So to do this, I inserted a table and then I filled each cell using the hex codes of a color palette that I found on Google just with a quick Google image search. So now all those colors are going to show up in my fill options when I want to select them for the backgrounds of each of my slides. You could also add any images that you want to customize it. I'm just going to keep mine with text only and then add a new slide for each new header. When you're done, you'll go up to file and then you'll download as a PNG and then go back to Google Keep and you're just going to insert them as images. So now I have all of my headers here. I can rearrange them how I want and I can archive the ones that I just don't quite need yet. And there you go. So a quick side note, Google Keep is definitely one of those apps that I prefer to have on all of my devices because as long as you're signed into your Google account, then it's going to automatically update all of your notes on all of your devices. So whether you have your laptop, your phone, your iPad, whatever changes you make to your Keep note on one device, it's going to automatically update on all the others. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all my newest teacher tips and I'll catch you next time. Bye everyone.